from LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica. This is Mornings, LA Late. It's a big early morning on Early Mornings in LA with incredible details about your four stimulus check updated 2021 this Tuesday morning. In this recording, we'll be going over that monthly stimulus check that the Democrats want you to have, when you're gonna get it and how you're gonna get it, and the breaking news happening across the board. Biden does it as the president signs a major law that anchors for stimulus to the finish line. I'll have all the details. Then in the second half of this video, this stimulus heats up with another stimulus check. Oh boy, yes. And then raising your benefits up a lifetime and why the breaking news on this one is so incredible deep, incredibly good. No less than three breaking news stories. Then in the middle of the video, we go over the thousands of dollars you can get right now. Tens of thousands as viewers continue to get it. It's a big morning. It's a big early morning. The toast is toasting, the butter is buttering. I'm here, you're here. Let's get to it, starting right now. Well, how the how is the weather where you are? Tell me where you're watching from and how's the weather? It got nice and cool. It was supposed to be miserable here in Santa Monica, but it was not. And not that Santa Monica is never miserable, but you know, <laughs> it did not get that bad. Um, it got very sunny, but it didn't get that hot. We had a very beautiful onshore breeze. So tell me where the weather, how the weather is where you are. Tell me where you're tuning in from this Tuesday early mornings. In this recording, we're going to go with that force and we'll check how much you're going to get and when you're going to get and all everything you need to know that's breaking from the Democrats, the incredible breaking news and the major deal from the president. Then we'll be cutting to fist stimulus in the second half of this video that has another stimulus check and raises your benefits up lifetime and the breaking news about this no less than three breaking news stories then in the middle of this video we'll go over the thousands of dollars you can get right now and viewers are getting it daily omg this is LLA, your only 24-hour day, seven days a week, financial news channel the only one of its kind in the united states live in the morning taped in the afternoon after the show is over stay with the show it'll automatically take you to overnight's LA crypto now playing it's a 15-hour show and then we go into mornings LA at 9 a.m. live on air but first subscribe 400,000 subscribers a YouTube record next stop 1 million I want you to subscribe be part of this channel also like this video two three thousand likes let's do it and consider becoming a member purple hawk purple power calcino vip let's get right into that monthly for stimulus check analysis the four stimulus check has a house bill and a senate proposal the house bill provides a monthly stimulus check for the remainder of the pandemic plus one year the senate proposal on the other hand provides a stimulus check for july to december so let's compare the amounts at issue starting right now house bill pandemic plus one year monthly senate proposal july to december monthly let's then look at the monthly payouts 2000 first month thousand dollars thereafter house senate monthly unknown but word on the street is it's this OMG, now that is wonderful. $2,000 a month over six months, $12,000 a person, oh boy. Or $1,400 a month over six months, $8,400 a person, wow. Now, there is a macroeconomic factor that may get modification of the number of checks. At issue is pandemic plus one year. Legislative insiders contend that the pandemic may be over. That would result from the House bill of 12 months of stimulus checks, $13,000 compared to Senate proposal over six, six months, this, okay. Which one do you prefer, House or Senate? Jump into the live chat just after 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and vote House or Senate and tell me where you're tuning in from. House or Senate, which one do you like? And how's the weather and where you're tuning in from? Let's go over everything else you need to know about that force stimulus check. The fourth stimulus check would be paid by the Democrats to everyone who got the third stimulus check they represent. The Democrats want a fourth stimulus check to go to a single individual who makes less than 75000 The fourth stimulus check would go to a married couple who make less than 150000 Double it. The Democrats want that fourth stimulus check to go to a household for or less. Quadruple it. And the Democrats want that fourth stimulus check to go, peop to, go to people on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, or railroad benefits. There you go. 
The forced stimulus check is not income, so it's not taxable. The forced stimulus check is a monthly stimulus check. It's not a check in waves. So do not wave to the stimulus check because it will not wave back to you and you will feel insulted and feel that the check was rude to you. Hi, check. It didn't wave back at me. How rude are you? <clears throat> Don't wave at the check. It's not a waveable check. The forced stimulus check has the same amount for adult dependents, minor dependents, and everyone else the re Democrats represent. And the Democrats want this vote to go to a final vote by July 4th, and the Democrats want that first check to land in the month of July, for the month of July, in the month of August, for the month of August. And there you go. That is the first of three parts of your forced stimulus check update of 2021 in this video. Wave that. Part goodbye, and we're on to the next part. Uh, but first, there's a preview of the second half of this video, and it's fist stimulus. It heats up this fall, and fist stimulus is really surprising people with all the breaking news stories, no less than three, about the $1 billion infusion, the CPI, and the fifth stimulus check, OMG. Fifth stimulus will involve raising up your benefits a lifetime, but we will learn in the second half of this video how high those benefits will go. It's wonderful news. But first, let's turn to the big money you can get right now, and it's just wonderful. If you're new to this channel, what this channel does is get people money. I got viewers $25 million of EIDL loans to save their homes and their businesses and their employees' homes in spring of last year. But in fall of 2020, people were not getting their second stimulus because it was not passed. So I got them a quarter million dollars of rent and utilities. Well, we're back getting that money right now. And what are we getting? Rent. About $5,000 in 46 months of rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and homeowners' utilities. It's under third stimulus, and it's landing right now. This week, $350 billion for you. Well, it's not all for you. What do you think this is? Powerball? <laughs> no. No, this is not Mega Millions little LLA version. <laughs> It's to share. It's coming from the federal government to the local for you to share with other people. And I can get that pen and paper ready or Crayola crown or uh, lapis or whatever whatever instrument you use or pluma and get ready to write down all the incredible money I'm going to go over for you in this video. Stay to the very end. I got a lot of money to get you for this, st this items starting right now. But first, we're going to go over the fact that each place has different eligibility. So if one says no, reach out to the next. They all have different eligibility. Okay, let's start with that rent. $5,000 approximately, four to six months of rent. Here we go. You're going to reach out to City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority. State Hall, State House Authority. The key words you're going to say is rent assistance because of COVID. Rent assistance because of COVID. You don't say, or you could also say a mortgage assistance because of COVID. You don't say words that they've never heard of or don't know what they're about. So you don't say stimulus. They have no idea what you're talking about. And you don't say Mark Meadows. <laughs> they say, who? Sounds familiar. I don't know. <laughs> you don't say those words. Mark Meadows, that just sounds sort of familiar. I just, hmm, where have I heard that name before? Uh, so there you go. There is the money for rent. About $5,000, four to six months of rent. Go get it. Congratulations to Tim and Linda who got it. Well, the next pot of money is wonderful. And if you've gotten $100 or $100,000 from this channel, drop in the comments, or $10, drop in the comments what you got because it inspires me, inspires other people to go get that money. And guess what? One viewer got seven, six to $7,000 for this next pot of money last Monday, and it's snap. Lynn Glenn got it for herself, for her son, and her mom, Gail, got it. And what is it? It is money from food for food from the Department of Agriculture. Where do you get it? How do you get it? You reach out to the Department of Agriculture. Call 211. What are the keywords you say? Rent at your, you want to get on SNAP. Eligibility is about the same as a stimulus check. And how much does it pay? A lot. A family of four in Hawaii, upwards of $16,000 a year. OMG, why so much? Because of two wonderful executive orders, one from Biden, one from Trump, that raise your benefits up 15% between now and December. Yes, automatically raise it up under the federal program administered by the states. So go get it. We're killing it. $16,000 for staff for family for in Hawaii, $5,000 for rent, and we are only nine minutes of this video. Oh, let's get some more money. And it's $5,000. This next pot of money is $5,000. And where is it coming from? From the federal government, from your state via the federal government. The federal government has identified states as overpaying you unemployment assistance due to computer error. 
and then ask you to return the money, which you did. Well, the federal government said, nope, it was your money to keep. As now ordered the states to return the money back to you. One viewer got $5,000 for this. So how do you get it? Directly on that account you have on file with your state. When? Reach out to your state for respective routing time. Which brings me to the next pot of money. Michael got it over uh, this week. He sent me a very nice message on face on Facebook, uh, private messaging. Uh, Cod got it, Margaret got it, and you're going to be getting it as well. What is it? It's a refund back of your unemployment assistance from 2020. Yes, let's go over how much you're going to get, when you're going to get it, and the routing times and the way to track it. First, how much? Let's say you had $9,000 of total unemployment assistance, of which you paid $5,000 in your total tax bill, 2020 to IRS, 4000 of which was your taxes on the unemployment assistance. Congratulations. You're getting back $4,000. When? This month. How to track it? In one second, uh, where in the direct deposit that was on your tax return, otherwise in the mail. All right, let's how to track it. IRS.gov, 70% of the time it works. Go in there, set up a username and password, do a transcript search. Transcript search, and 70% of the time it works. Your name, your social security number, and it'll show the tax return you filed, the taxes you paid, and the refund you're getting back. OMG. Is there anything better than that in a dancing pair? There is. As I come back and focus, <laughs> the second half of your fourth stimulus check update of 2021 starting right now. As we go into Tuesday morning, this is where we are in the fourth stimulus. We are currently under recon. We are finishing recon by July 4th. All the Democrats are aligned, including Joe Manchin, to pass fourth stimulus. The fourth stimulus is currently being marked up. That's the actual language they use, currently being marked up. Everyone's talking about that four stimulus. The president, the Democrats in the House, and the Democrats in the Senate, the people not talking about it are the people not giving it to you. The GOP and the conservative media, and wow, the president did it. Biden did it, a major deal over the weekend that anchors four stimulus right to the finish line and removes the provisions no longer needed in there, certain provisions about corporate taxes. It's wonderful. I'm going to go over all those details starting right now, this minute, and the excitement starts with following up where we got here. It started the Friday before Memorial Day weekend when Leah Schumer confirmed the news not three, but not one, but three details of which I have been reporting. Number one, he said that the reconciliation process had already begun. Number two, that it'll finish by July 4th. And number three, it'll finish with a passage. Well, how did we get to that point? We got to that point with Jalapal. Yes, that author of that House bill had written Schumer a letter saying, call the vote, Chuck. Call the vote on the recon. More importantly, who signed that Jalapal letter? 12 House Democrats, who are among the 100-plus House Democrats who had written the president letter a week earlier saying, we're going to put monthly stimulus checks in the fourth stimulus package. OMG, can we get better than that? We can. When seven House Democrats wrote the president directly a letter about a week ago, and this letter has been all across broadcast media the last few days, saying, Mr. President, we're going to put that forced stimulus check, that monthly stimulus check, into the forced stimulus package. <gasps> Who are these people to say that? What do they do? What is their job? They're on the subcommittee of the House that's solely and exclusively responsible for writing stimulus checks in the U.S. Congress House of Representatives. <gasps> really? Did they write the first stimulus check? They did. Did they write the second stimulus check? They did. Did they write the stimulus check, third stimulus check? They did. And now they're writing the fourth stimulus check. They represent, oh my goodness. Of course, last week they said they're currently marking up the bill. Wow. Are they writing us a fifth stimulus check? They are. That's coming up in the second half of this video. Lord, what's next? Can you top that? I can. Biden does it. Biden does it last weekend. When he signed international treaty that anchors for stimulus right to the finish line. It's wonderful news. By removing the provisions about corporate taxes, certain provisions are no longer needed because now they're in international law. Wow. Let me go over all the details on how we got here. This is incredible. It started a recent Tuesday ago where I said there was something that had happened. That was a little confusing, but I need to slow it down. And I'm going to slow it down right now. For stimulus is paid for by raising the U.S. corporate taxes, taxes on corporations' businesses in the United States. Well, the president had said at the time he was worried that if he raises the U.S. corporate tax rate, U.S. corporations may move operations overseas and no longer be U.S. corporations, be French corporations, for example. So he said, I have an idea. I'm going to reach out to the G7 countries and have them raise the global minimum corporate tax rate. And they said yes. He said, oh, good. He told his insiders that after four stimulus passed, like in November, December, he'll reach back to those G7 countries and have them sign on the dotted line 
And if they do, then he'll be able to remove items from forced stimulus no longer needed and drop the corporate tax rate closer to where it is right now. Wonderful. And then he surprised everyone. He surprised everyone, but I had the tip off of it, as I showed you the Friday before, two weeks ago, that he was going to do something with the G7 countries months earlier. And he did it. Biden did it last Friday and Saturday. He flew overseas and signed into law the global corporate tax rate of 15% months ahead of time, not in November, December this year, this weekend. Now anchoring forced stimulus over to the finish line by making it easier now to pass forced stimulus as a Democrat in the Congress by now no longer needing certain provisions about corporate taxes because now they're in the international treaty. <gasps> Brilliant. It's wonderful, wonderful news. It was a major surprise and a major achievement for forced stimulus. And there you go. That's the second of three parts of your Force Stimulus Check updated 2021 in this video. But coming after the commercial break, I have more exciting details you're going to hear for the first time on Early Mornings LA. But first, here's some more exciting details, which is about the volunteers. If you've had problems finding rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, util mortgage utilities, homeowners utilities as well, reach out to the volunteers. They are salt of the earth. They embody the purple power spirit. They're viewers helping viewers. Reach out to them. They are on the community page. How do you find the community page? Go to the description of this video. Open the description. Go down the description until you see an emoji of a house. Click that emoji of the house where it says community page, and it'll send you to news.la.com forward slash community. You'll see a picture of some kitty cats. They are not the volunteers. They're just kitty cats. <laughs> Lower on the page of the volunteers. There they are. And they're separated from Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. They'll help you get that money for rent, utilities, SNAP, homeowners assistance, and similar. Reach out to them. But coming up after the commercial break, I have more exciting details about four stimulus. You're going to hear for the first time on Early Mornings LA. And fifth stimulus, and that fifth stimulus check, and that raising up of your benefits. Oh, boy, it's getting good. The toast is toasted, and I will be back here in just a second as the coffee's brewing. If or you I want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community or page. Maybe the I hit the wrong button. Volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. Oh, there's the button. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings at 8 at 9 a.m. Home LA 8 returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA 8 at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Light. And the excitement can be continues right now on early mornings, LA Light, as the excitement continues starting right now. It's a big morning, and I'm really excited for the news as Fort Stimulus heats up with more details starting right now about fourth and fifth stimulus. How are you? It's a big morning early morning. The toast is toasting, the butter is buttering, the coffee is brewing. I'm here, you're here, and subscribe. 400,000 subscribers a YouTube record. Like this video. Two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Coming up next is Mornings L Light at 9 a.m., but right after this video, stay with it. It'll send you automatically to Overnight's Crypto, currently airing live on this channel. Let's go right to Fifth Stimulus right now. Fifth Stimulus has not one, but three major breaking news stories happening today. Number one, there's going to be a Fifth Stimulus check. OMG. Yes, yeah, so seven House Democrats have told the president they're going to put a fifth stimulus check into the fifth stimulus package, which starts in September. Out the door about October, November fifth stimulus. That means that stimulus check would land thereafter. When? 
I think they're thinking of January 2022 because it's hard to set out a stimulus check in the weeks of December. We saw that last year. Perfect timing for stimulus 2021, this stimulus 2022. Breaking news number two, the president is dedicating $1 billion to the Social Security Administration Fund so you get payments on time diligently and quickly with no further delays as you see in the last year. This will ramp up computer processing, staffing, employees to make sure you get your payments, stimulus checks, and monthly benefits on time. I think this is probably one of the most exciting news stories I've had in a long time. And I don't know why. I feel like I'm the only one excited about this story. I just think this is huge. You know, in this channel, when it launched in 2020, I had a video that went viral, went to 3 million views, which is unheard of in the financial space. And I only had a couple hundred subscribers at the time. And it was about the second, that second stimulus checks will be going to people on benefits. A lot of people thought that they were not entitled to checks uh, when they were on benefits because the system was broken. They didn't have the non-file filing tool working right. Then when third stimulus came around in the spring, People were just flooding the comments, rightfully so, saying they don't care about us. They always send us things late. We're always getting things late. They didn't have your information at the Treasury. They had to route the information over the Treasury. People on Direct Express by Comerca got their checks late. It was all because the system did not have enough funding to make sure they get information out quicker. He's solving all that to make sure four stimulus checks go out on time, fifth stimulus checks go out on time, benefits checks go out on time. I think this is wonderful news. It means I'll no longer have to make a video about direct express by Comerica card <clears throat> and third stimulus check. Yeah, never have to make that video again. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> which brings me to the final breaking news, which is really wonderful. A little bit complicated, but let me explain it simple for you. What's the inflation rate going to be when they apply fist stimulus? We all understand by now the benchmark is for fist stimulus for raising your benefits up for SSI and SDI is inflation. What's the inflation rate going to be? Wall Street analysts are now thinking the inflation rate is going to be transitory. That's going to go up temporarily or transitory, as they say, to a very, very high rate and then come down. Why? Because the Consumer Price Index number released on Thursday, which I've been detailing a lot, last Thursday, it was through the roof. Well, here's what you want to hope is that when it reaches that peak, that inflation rate reaches a peak, that they apply the benchmark the first time for you, which is in December, November. Remember, they apply the benchmark every November, December for next year's benefits. And you want to hope that inflation rate is really that high. Let's go over how fifth stimulus starts right now with that new inflationary benchmark, because your current benchmark is COLA they want to get rid of. The benefit levels will be raised up, then the asset limits will be removed, the inflation benchmark will be added, and then the in income exclusion marriage penalty will be gone. Let's go over how this works. First, they're going to raise your benefits up one time. This is you if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, Survivor Benefits, SSA, or multiple benefits. Then they'll apply the benchmark. Every December, they've been applying a benchmark for the next year's benefits. It's been COLA. COLA's horrible. They're getting rid of it. It's not going to be CPIE, which Elizabeth Warren wanted. It's not going to be that either. Either. That's not that's no bueno. It's going to be inflation. When they apply the benefits, you step up or stay the same. If the number is a positive number, like one or two or three or ten, it goes up. If it's zero, it stays the same. It never goes down because inflation, there's no such thing as negative inflation. So here you go. When the inflation rate goes up, how when will that when will reach that peak later this year? You have to hope that the inflation rate reaches that massive peak that a lot some people think is 10% in November, December. Because if that happens, then your benefits step up at that rate next year. But not just next year, lifetime. This is huge because the way the benefits works is they step up and they never step down. So if the inflation rate reaches that peak when they apply your benefits and let's say the rate is 10%, you'll step up at 10% lifetime. OMG. Yes. Then they're going to remove the asset cap that prevents you from having stimulus checks, that prevents you from having more than $3,000 in hand, just in time to get those stimulus checks in your hand. They're going to remove the income exclusion that prevents you from getting in income. Now you can work if you want to and stay on benefits. And finally, they're going to get rid of the marriage penalty. It penalizes you if you're married, it prevents you from getting married for fear of loss of benefits. Love is going to win and you'll be able to marry your longtime love interests. Which brings us back to fifth stimulus. There's a lot of other things in fifth stimulus. There's a lot of other things in fourth stimulus. And there's a lot of money for you to get under the third stimulus law. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars. Like that viewer got six to seven thousand dollars. 
How do you get the money? Start by becoming a member. The link's at the top of the chat in the pinned comment. Members are delivered every day a breakdown of what's in the first, what's in the third, fourth, and fifth stimulus. That delivery is, comes every day from the YouTube channel, written by me, the community page, that says what's in the third and fourth and fifth stimulus. You need to know what's available for you because a lot of these things are application-based. They're not automatic. You need to apply for them. And when you apply for them, then you can get it. So consider becoming a member. Which brings us back to the third part of our Four Stimulus Check Update of 2021 this early morning, Tuesday morning. Boy, I got a lot of things still to go over with you. Number one, two, three, and four. One, we'll be going over routing times. Two, we'll be going over Q&A. Three, we'll be going over fake narratives. And number four, we'll be going over purple power. Number one routing times. So it's important to know when they're calling votes, when and how they do them. Let's go over the nine steps of the voting process of which step five, step seven, and step eight are the two are the three most important steps. Those steps are required by the Constitution. And here we go. The first half are procedural, second half are substantive. Step one, the House subcommittee calls a procedural vote. Step two, the House floor calls a procedural vote. Step three, the Senate calls a procedural vote. Step four, the president signs a procedural law. At that point, the tow truck has passed over the finish line. The procedural bill is now law. Time to go to get the substantive bill. Step five, the House subcommittee finishes marking up, as they're marking up right now, the substantive bill and calls it for a vote. It's at that step that the House subcommittee could put those monthly stimulus checks in there. Step six, the House floor votes on the substantive bill. Step seven and eight, the two-day voterama in which the senators receive the bill from the House. They amend whatever they want to amend, if they do wish. So let's say the House had no stimulus checks in there. They could amend and add them in there. Let's say they did have stimulus checks in there from the House. The senators can leave it alone or can still amend it. And step nine, the president signs it to law. Now Q&A, your questions about fourth stimulus. When will we see the amount for the senators during the Votorama? They don't show you their cards. It's about keeping it close to chess. They keep it under wraps because this is part of the process. The Votorama is a very secretive process in which they want to ensure that they pass their amendment. So they don't want to tip off the opposing party. And they also want to ensure they have all the votes lined up. And they also don't want anyone to know when they're calling that for a vote. Number two. Are things still in modification flux? Absolutely. So it's important to know that at any time, people can modify things. They can go up, they can go down. They can surprise you, they can change the eligibility. They could say, hey, we're gonna go from uh, uh, $75,000 minimum, uh, 75,000 less for a single individual to 85,000 or less for a single individual. They can just change things. It's a very fluid situation. They're legislators, and what they're doing is they're legislating. Legislating involves modifying, negotiating, talking about things. Uh, third, how about um, the president and the Democrats? So the president has spoken about the four stimulus check. He likes it. He wants it. The Democrats in the House have talked, spoken about it. They say and they want it. The Democrats in the Senate have spoken and said they want it. And finally, print media is talking about it nonstop. So everyone involved with you getting stimulus check is talking about. The people not talking about it are people not going to give you a stimulus check. And then we go to fake narratives. I fully expect all this week, all next week, down to the final day, fake narratives coming out across the board. I'm important. It's important for me to tell you about things ahead of time sometimes so that you're prepared to understand what it is when it happens. I did that a lot in 2020 and it worked. Sometimes we proactively were ahead of the ball because we weren't going to re react negatively or react confused or actually push back when we heard something happen. Here's an example. I fully expect the problem creators of 2020 to be back talking about what they're doing for four stimulus this week, next week, even in the last week. Here's what you need to know about the bond creators. They have delivered zero over second stimulus and zero over third stimulus to you or anyone. They never got anything approved of anything that they ever wanted. What did they get? A lot of publicity. That is what they were after, a lot of publicity. What you need to understand is that legislators, even in a year in which no one's up for re-election, use legislation often to advance political careers. What are they after? It could be anything from a book deal, advancing their political agenda, making themselves more household names, or it could be raising funds for a future run for a higher office or just a re-election fund. Understand that 
these elected officials continually get donations for their re-election campaign. And those donations commonly come in when you hear them talking about something very vocal in the press, even if they don't get you anything in the press. Here's an example. In 2020, we heard from Josh Hawley that he was going to hold up the vote with Bernie Sanders when the bill got to the Senate if there was not a $2,000 stimulus check in there during the, during the CR, the continuing resolution moment. Remember that? And then they folded like lawn chairs. Josh Hawley, during that entire run, got himself all across broadcast media, front page news about how he was becoming bipartisan, how he was working both, how he's doing all these wonderful things. In the end, he did nothing. In the end, he folded his lawn chair. What did he get out of it? He got out of it in fall 2020, one of the biggest donations of a non-announced presidential candidate as a fund for running for president. He got an enormous donation funds uh, across the board. AOC is another one of those people. She has an enormous donation fund. A lot of that comes from talking to broadcast media, the cable channels, the cable talk shows about what you're doing, even if they don't get the thing done. And that's important for you to understand for purposes of fake narratives over the next few weeks. There will be people, whether it's Mitt Romney on the Republican side or the protagonista, her herself, on the Democratic side, saying they're trying to do things when, here's what you need to know, they don't represent the Democrats and they don't represent the Republicans. Both sides have agreed upon that. They want to come out and talk about things that they do. Mitt Romney, for example, who a lot of people do like, he's a nice guy, has literally had a bill about everything. <laughs> he's had a bill about Azerbaijan, never passed. He had a bill about raising your SSI benefits, never passed. He's had a bill about me, practically. <laughs> he's had a bill about everything. And nothing ever even gets called for a vote. Uh, but he's very good on appearing everywhere. Everywhere. Just, I wrote something, here I am. Did they ever get called for a vote? No. Did anyone? It's just in the shelf. It's in the bookshelf, the Romney bookshelf of bills that never get called for a vote. So they do these things, and yeah, a lot of people talk about it, but I don't want you to get confused. So I don't want you to wake up Thursday morning or Saturday or some day of the week and say, oh, I heard this person, Mitt, you know, whatever, legislator, Republican or Democrat, saying they're trying to meet with someone about this, and it doesn't have that. No, don't worry about it. And then, finally, a personal message and purple power. Personal message uh, for early mornings LA, which is remember, it's important to understand that fourth stimulus is no different than third stimulus, is no different than second stimulus. And some people for some reason think that fourth stimulus is different. It's not. For some reason, people think that things have become more of a prophecy, more of a do you think? What do you think? Let's bet on whether it's going to happen. Let's let's wager on when it's going to happen. I have one viewer who's a longtime viewer who I like a lot, like a lot, sent me a very nice message. No harm, no foul, just a nice message. But I want to show you the sort of mindset that was happening in that message. The private message was the following. My dad is betting with me that we're not getting a stimulus check. I say we are, but he say we're not. Why even spend 10 seconds typing me that message? Why even have 10 seconds having that conversation with your father? In that 10 seconds, you could have tweeted 10, 20 people in the Congress. You could have picked up the phone and called up your legislature, legis your, your, your Democratic representative, he's out of New York, called up uh, Chuck Schumer's office, say, I need that stimulus check in there. Why spend one breath betting with your father about something? For some reason, somewhere along the line, in the last few weeks, people thought that forced stimulus is an event for you to wager on. Bet, like it's a casino event, like it's a prophecy event. What do you think? What do you think? Do you think, uh, he says, she says, I know, what do you think? My goodness, these are legislators. Let's recap. Legislators have passed laws and never sent out the money, EIDL grant. Legislators have had bills that was going to give you tens of thousands of dollars and never called it to a vote. Cash Act 2020, a $3,200 retroactive stimulus check for adult dependents who ne never got the first or second stimulus check. They never called it to vote. They never even remembered it existed after, after Ossoff and Warnoff were elected. They've had proposals and never reduced it to a bill. They've had ideas and never put it into a proposal. So legislators are very fluid. They could change their mind on the spur of the moment. 
And so they need to see you pushing. They need to see your input. Why? These are legislators who are elected to represent you. And if they don't hear from you, they think you don't want it or don't need it. So if they don't see any tweets from you, they don't see any phone calls from you that are asking for stimulus checks, they may say, maybe they don't need it. I haven't heard from my electorate. And then they'll call up their colleague in the Senate. Uh, John, in your state, have you heard anyone from about asking for stimulus? No, I haven't heard anything. Uh, you know, I don't think they really need it. I, I don't hear anyone call me up. No. Uh, here's what you need to know. A lot of these elected officials, their Twitter accounts have 30, 40,000 followers. That's not a lot. Unless you have three quarters or a million followers, you can see these tweets. LA has a quarter million Twitter follows. LA can see everyone's tweets. It's very easy to see people's tweets with a quarter million followers. At 50,000 followers, they see your tweets. So when you tweet them, I really need this stimulus check. Uh, these are the reasons why I need the stimulus check. They see that. If they see that coming from 30, 40 different people every few hours, they see that. If they get a phone call at their office that has a staffer of 50, has a staff of 50, they hear the message. George, we just got another call from another person in our state saying we need stimulus checks in there. Boy, we've had a lot of calls about it. I've had a lot of calls about it. They respond to those calls. They don't mean they, they react, they act upon those calls. If you are spending your time betting with your dad about whether there's a forced stimulus check, you may not get it because they may not think you need it because they haven't heard from you. So go on social media, tag your elect officials, hashtag MSC, hashtag Purple Power. Tag your Democratic senators, your Democratic House members. If you do not use Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Reddit, then use the old-fashioned, the telephone. It really works. Be professional. Be respectful. Call them up on this phone. Talk to their staffers. Talk as much as you can talk about it. Explain detail why I really need this. Why the situation is not good for me and I need the stimulus check. And they react to it. And then write them a letter as well. All these things work. And with that, you need to push Purple Power. You are doing a great job on Sunday and Monday. So keep it up. Really, really wonderful job. And with that, make sure you subscribe. 400,000 is a YouTube record. I want you part of this channel. Fastest growing YouTube channel for a reason. We give people money and we push. We don't roll over. We're not a prophecy. We're not betting. We're not gambling. We're not predicting the future. I don't have a vase or a, you know, a, a special cards that I turn over and I say, oh, I, I, I got the twin of Mitch. Oh, I got the, 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 the ace of Nancy. I don't read prophecies on this channel. You need to push. Also, like this video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. I'm next back with you of Mornings LA, but stay with this video. I'll automatically take you to Overnight's Crypto, currently playing on the channel, that 15-hour hit show. Stay informed, stay focused. Have a beautiful early morning brought over early mornings. Stay informed, stay focused, stay smiling, and stay valet for more.